Right, good afternoon all. Thank you for joining the post day two play press conference. Today we have West Indian all-rounder Jason Holder with us. Jason, with that final wicket of the day, became the second West Indian to achieve 150 test wickets and also have 2,500 test runs after his countryman, Sir Gabriel Silvers. And Jason is very excited to speak with you in the media, as you can see on his face. So I'm just going to ask that if you have questions prepared for Jason, you just give me a slight raise of the hand and we'll get the microphone to you. so much which has helped him to learn as a fast bowler and not even as a fast bowler just as a, ge <clears throat> a general cricketer um, I'm really pleased with his progress and I think now that he's got Andy Monkey up his back with him and getting the fight with the hall you'll see quite a few more for him you know, I think he's really leading the attack and he's running in and giving us a lot of energy up front with Andy Ball and, and also coming back for his you know, second and third spells Jason congratulations on the milestones uh, I'm just wondering do you think um, the I had a, a fairly good 
run of it, you know, especially the test arena. And I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this one particularly. Um, just less egos. I think these guys play it for the right reasons. And you know, everybody's really hungry for each other's success. Um, when you got have guys like Kimar Roach, you know, Shannon Gabriel, Craig Braff have been around for quite a bit and still put on their hand in the charge. You know, it's, it's inspiring for someone like me. Um, today, for example, obviously we, we got bowled off under their total, but we had like 30, 35, 37 minutes to bowl. And we could have easily gone through motions. Yes, they got a few boundaries in here, but I think we can just the most important part, you know, the final tally on the end of the day. And somebody like Kimar to me was just inspirational. So he really came, he came in the season. And then I had to, you know, really just talk to Azaria as well too. But the way that Azaria has matured is just phenomenal. But it's, it's really good to see these guys succeeding. And I think that's the most pleasing thing for me. You know, just being on the field, being up there with these guys, developing with them, learning with them, you know, and, and trying to, to win more series. himself and today he just looked like a different player you know it looked like he was playing in a different match compared to all the other South Africans what, how do you explain that no I think he's he's well balanced at the moment um, he's really moving well I think that's a key to batting on any surface you know whether there's variable bumps or not I think if you see it in it it's pretty poised at the crease and he looks like yeah he's getting if he has a little bit more time than anybody else and that's because he's really moving well um, I still think we probably give him a few too many loose deliveries uh, probably a little too